what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? It's being reported that two men from Louisville, Kentucky, were in a dispute over a gas pump when one was fatally shot to death. Backstory. They're at a Kroger's gas station. They're arguing. They're arguing over the pump. The guy who's at the pump is supposedly testing the other guy's gangster. So the guy who is saying that it's my pump tells the guy, you a bitch with a whole gun in your pocket. I'll sleep you and take your gun. Dude was like, do it. So he proceeds to try to do it. Got a few feet away and dude unloaded. Put three in him. All in his chest. Dead. He didn't die on the scene. He was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. <sighs> Over what, fam? This type of stuff, it, how many times we gotta see it? It don't make no sense. The dude died in vain. Life over. If you have any kids, the dude was 37 years old. So you would think at 37, you know better by now. Because typically, if you can survive the streets to 30, if you can get to 30, usually all of that silly stuff is behind you. You know, you survive all the late nights hanging out in the club, five, six, seven days a week, ripping and running, getting in all, into all of the stupid stuff that youngsters get into. By the time you hit that 30, you got it figured out most of the time. This dude was 37 years old and still hadn't figured it out. Now, one could say that, yeah, I mean, if I beat you to the pump, you can't just come and take my pump. Uh, obviously, somebody is going to have a problem with that. But to escalate it to the degree where you know this dude is packing and you call him a bitch and say, I'll take your gun and then proceed to try to do it. And you're asking for it. That is a death wish. I don't understand why people take chances like that. When I was in high school, there was a bully that was a couple of years older than me. His name was David. David used to beat up people at the skating rink. He used to, I'm talking about Bogart. He'll see a dude dancing with his girl and he'll just cut in. And then his, his goons would be standing around. The dude try to act like he want to do something. Man, they'll put hands on him. I mean, straight up classic bullies. Well, one day, David was at that same skating rink. Super skate is what it was called. It was a guy in a truck. And David was having some words with the dude. Dude pulled out a gun. David was like, what, I'm supposed to be scared? Started walking toward him. Didn't turn out well for David. He put five in him. David survived. But from that moment on, David was paralyzed. Today, David, the once active social butterfly, now sits on his mother's porch in a wheelchair watching traffic go by. Family, I seen a dude get clapped in the back of his fro. I put it in a song. The dude had a gun on him. Had the gun out. 
Well, but I'm supposed to be scared because you got a gun. Da -da 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 -da. Boom. Over. I understand. Look, 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 man. Pride to get you shot in the guts. Let's say you're talking big shit and you don't know dude's strap. But once that, that blazer come out, man, go and swallow it. Go ahead and just say, you know what? You got me. I was wrong. You know? Try to get on up out of that. Try to ease out of it if you can, man. Because it's not worth it. Like, you can't take pride to the bank and you can't take pride to the hospital and get fixed up when somebody put a hole in you. You can't take pride to the morgue and have the mortician to reverse your situation. You're out of here. I get it. You don't want to back down. Sometimes you got to back down. You have to run away to live to fight another day. R.I.P. Deshaun Tolbert. No more talk. What the haters talking about?